Good morning, you guys. How are you today? Um, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to my home and the chaos that I call my office. Um, the little kitten is back there. His area is a mess. And um, I had a video to film today and I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it, but mainly because the makeup I chose to wear today is terrible. Let's, let me see if I can't adjust this light. I have a light right here. Anyway, I'm trying a new sunscreen foundation, a sample that I got in something and uh, no, I don't like it. So um, yeah, I'm going to film it tomorrow and I'm really tired and I need to continue to outline the video. Hopefully by the time you see this, I will be finished with it. <laughs> Let's hope. I've, out, I've done a lot of the work on these two videos, but I haven't finished it yet and I really want to. But uh, yeah, if you've seen them already, they're the Virgin Voyages videos. There's two of them. I'm trying to get three out, but we will see. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I've picked up. So uh, I have completely cleaned out my closet and I have found the things that I really am finding over the last year or so. I've been wearing re on repeat on cruises, two cruises on cruises, uh, are tank tops. And I really like them. They're convenient. They're easy. They're washable. Uh, I think I've worn them, you know, the Harbor Tank and others for quite some time. And so I've been collecting them slowly over the last few months uh, when they go on sale or I find a color I like or something different about them. And then um, I also picked up a tank dress from Target. I did find it. I wanted to try it on. Not sure how I'm going to feel about it. Um, I have about four pounds to go before I'm back to my normal weight. Um, and so, you know, now if I try it on, we're going to see what it looks like. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but I want to make sure it's loose. I don't want it fitted. And I bought the same tank dress from Stitch Fix, but this one's very loose. And I want to see if it's too long. I want to see what it looks like. So I thought we'd try on together. Um, my Stitch Fix will be in. We can try that on in this video. Also, it's not in yet, but it will be. It'll be here probably today, tomorrow, something like that. It shipped a couple days ago. And um, yeah, I did pick this up from Spanx because it's my kind of outfit, but it doesn't have the zipper. So I wanted to try that. Um, and it's in that Air Essentials fabric, which I have never tried before, but I am a huge fan of Spanx. Huge fan. So let me show you. Okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to show you the things um, I'm going to try on. So first up is this Walmart Time and True dress. I believe there are pockets, yes. And it's just a basic dress. I have linked this in a previous vlog for you, uh, something I picked up. This is the V-neck. And then this one is another one very similar, but it's a ribbed high neck uh, tank dress. But these again are very loosey goosey. I really like these. These are staples. These are things that are always in fashion, always in style. You can always bring them on cruises. Um, they're just, they're great. They're nice staple pieces to stay in your closet to wear over and over either around the house, to the grocery store, on a cruise ship. It doesn't matter. So there's those. We're going to, I've tried that on now. This is uh, a dress from uh, Amazon. It was on sale in the Amazon Spring Sale. I have tried this one before. It's my typical dress that I really like. It's got the waist you know, the high waist, the elastic waist. This one has a tie that comes with it. I'm going to try it on. We'll see what it looks like. This one is a tank dress from Nordstrom. I have tried this one, this one on. I really like it. It's ridiculously overpriced. Um, but it was in navy blue and it was a loosey goosey fit. So I really like it. This is a dress I saw on sale at Nordstrom. It's pink. I just really like the material. I haven't tried it on yet. Uh, it's a treasure and bond. It was marked down. It is a V-neck. I'm sure I'm going to have to wear a tank underneath it. Um, just very pretty, simple, easy to wear. Here is the tank dress from Stitch Fix. Loosey goosey high neck tank dress by Kaylee in a blue. And then here is the Target dress. So I don't intend for any of these to go back, um, but those are what I had been looking for and been collecting over the last couple of months. If they're available, I'll link them for you. Otherwise, 
you know, I won't. Um, I'll at, put an annotation there that they're not available anymore. Or I'll see if I can find you something similar. I didn't show this to you. I don't know how many of you would actually wear something like this or enjoy it. These little sweat shorts and then the matching top with the three quarter zip. This is from Amazon. This is really thick. This brand, Andra Best, has sent me clothing before, but this was not sent to me. I did purchase this. This set was on sale for $19.99, and it's so soft and so comfortable, but it's so thick. But this is actually perfect for our winters here, our fall and our winters, on days where it's cool outside, but not warm enough, not cold enough to really wear leggings, although I wear leggings. Um, but maybe you're going to go outside, you're going to go for a walk or something. This would be something nice to wear. Also, y'all know I love this type of top. This is my kind of top to wear on an airplane, just to wear, period. I think I could have a uniform of just leggings and this. No hoodie, no hood, just the three-quarter zip. And the Spanx one just doesn't have the zip. It's the same idea, but it is a high-low. It's a little longer a looser fabric. I'm excited about it. I hope it's comfortable. They now have pants that match it that aren't that wide. I don't like wide like pants. I'm too short for that. Not to mention, I just don't like it. Um, and they now have uh, tapered pants, but they didn't have the petites in. So I, I'm waiting until the petites come in and I'll order the same. I ordered the blue smoke colored top. Anyway, so I'm excited about this. I got this in like, it's called apricot, which is like a very pale tan. And then this deeper, no, one's gray. And then this is the apricot. So there you go. I mean, that really, I love these. Now let me show you the tank tops. And yes, I did tell you, I did not need another pullover tank, a pullover hoodie, sweatshirt. I, I did tell you that, but you know what? I could wear one every single day. I had one on yesterday. I wear them all summer long because I get so cold in the house. But yes, I am having hot flashes, so that kind of damp puts a damper on things. So here's this color. It's like a blushy tan color. I think this one's from Target. And this one, the black and white one from Target. I haven't tried these on yet. These look very deep in the arm. They may be too deep for me. I sized up in these to mediums because I like them loose. And here's the navy blue one from Target. I've been looking for navy blue. I told you I've been looking for red. This is more of a berry red. This isn't quite the red I wanted, but I thought it was really pretty. This one's from Amazon and this one is from Amazon. So I'm good here. I'm going to try them all on, not for you. I'm just going to try them on, make sure they're comfortable and they fit. The Target ones I've had trouble with. I've had to return them before because they don't fit under the arm. They're like really, really big on me. Um, but uh, I'm going to try it anyway. I always have a jacket on, so I'm not sure I really should care. <laughs> Very rarely do I take it off. He's getting some water. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him? Or is he behind me? Yeah, that's, he was behind me, wasn't he? I don't know. Yeah, he's going to play in this water. He's doing so well. He's coming along. He's still freaked out. And pardon my floor during the try-on, if you saw litter on the floor. He is terrified of the broom. He's terrified of the vacuum. And it's really hard to take him out of this room to vacuum um, because he gets really scared coming out of this room because this is the world he knows right now. It's taking very slow baby steps because we don't want him to regress back into being fearful. We don't want that. And that's something that can happen with a feral cat. So yeah, but he is still doing really, really, really well. He's made huge strides. We are now taking him out and sitting with him on the couch and cuddling him. He's terrified when we first get on the couch and then he's fine. Uh, it took Mozzie about six months before he was really comfortable. Uh, and started really coming out and coming around the house and really being a part of the family. So we feel like it probably will take that for him. So he's only been here like 10 days, maybe two weeks. So he's absolutely adorable. And no, we don't have a name for him yet. It's driving us crazy. We cannot think of a name for him. We have some that we're working on, um, but I don't know. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. He had his second dewormer, defleer, de all of that treatment yesterday, so he's crusty on his neck. 
so anyway the vet knows we have him we have been advised on how to care for him and while we're trying to get him into the vet so um but he's not ready yet he's just not ready yet he he would be too mortified for that so um we may if it gets into the next couple of weeks i really want to get him neutered before he becomes a full-on teenager because then they can start spraying um we may have to medicate him. We do have medication that we use for Grace and for Mozzie for the other cats when they're too scared to ride in the car to go to the vet. Uh, we do have that now. We can medicate him as well and then take him in. So we'll see. He's so cute. What do you see, baby angel? What do you think? Are you so cute? Are you so cute, my little purr box? Yes. When he relaxes, he folds himself into our hands and he just roly polies and purrs. He's just such a good boy. Oh, go stretch those babies. Oh, stretch. Oh, stretch those back paws. Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to try these clothes on, which you've already seen. I'm going to film that clip real quick. And then uh, I am going to see you when our stitch fix comes in. Uh, I'm gonna get on my computer and work on some vlogs and some videos. I got three shorts done yesterday, but I need to do like the description box and everything in there. So uh, I need to do all of that and I need to do a general tidy. Um, but tomorrow, maybe later on today, I don't know. I just, like I said, I don't like the way this makeup looks, but maybe it doesn't show too much in the camera. I don't know. Um, Tomorrow, I think I'll be really ready to film the video. Honestly, it is exhausting to me to do my hair because my hair, <laughs> it's really long now and it, it doesn't take that long, but it's exhausting. <laughs> How ridiculous. Anyway, we're going to take Buddy for a walk later today. The weather here is absolutely gorgeous. We're having one of those perfect spring weeks where it's in the 40s and 50s at night and 60s and 70s in the day and it's not really super humid. Oh, it's just glorious. I absolutely love it. I can still wear my hoodie and leggings. I have shorts on now because I'm going to be trying on all these clothes and then the leggings are coming right back on with one of my new hoodies. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in a second. This is the little avia skirt. I realized we're in the middle of the screen here and this isn't the other way but I already have the camera set up. This is the little avia skirt that I told you about in the last vlog. These are really cute. I really like these. They do run a bit big. I have a lot of extra space here in the waist um, but you know that's fine. With the material that it is I think it'll be fine. Um, it does have pockets here and here. Really nice. The shorts are longer hem. I think they're a five inch hem, which is nice. Um, and then this is the Target tank top. This is just the blush colored one. So yeah, um, I think they fit fine. So especially as I continue to lose my weight. Again, this is the medium. So I don't like it to fit fit. So I bought the medium. Um, and this is the green skirt. So you can see this one that that's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of space here under the arm, which may not be the greatest for everyone, but it's also still pretty fitted. I just, yeah, the loft tanks, um, tend to be less fitted. Whoops. I got deodorant on this one. Just rub the fabric together on itself and you rub the deodorant right off. Anyway, um, the loft tanks seem to be less fitted. They're a little looser fit overall and Loft does have a tank like this. Uh, the black, I think everyone's coming out with this. Um, so, and then here is the black. It's more of a deep charcoal gray black. So, but isn't this a cute little outfit? Your little sneakers on, you wear this into port, wear it around the ship, whatever. Um, it's just fun. It's easy. It's comfortable. And, um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Okay, the Stitch Fix is here, and um, I think in the last vlog I showed you pictures of it. So um, this time I'm just gonna try it on, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a little concerned this skirt's gonna be too small. Normally I size up in anything that has an elastic waist because I I told you, oops, I told you before, elastic waist or pleated, uh, because I have a tummy, you want to size up. 
so that it kind of sits away and floats away from your tummy. So I don't know, but uh, everything in this box is really good. So let me put on the first outfit. I'll be right back. Robert is at HEB checking, uh, picking up a grocery order. Um, so he may text me. Okay, here it is. I have plenty of room in this skirt, but I think I'd still like to size up again. I hate the slit. Why do they always put a slit? <laughs> I'd rather not have the slit, but I guess, you know, as far as slits go, it's not that bad. And if I really wanted to, no, it's elasticized, but I think it's cute. I love this top. I love this. Um, in case you don't remember, you didn't watch last week's vlog. I actually picked all these pieces from the selection. I was watching somebody else's stitch fix. I have no idea who it was, but they were saying that now you can pick, like some people can pick up to eight pieces. I wonder what, who get, why some people get that and some people don't. Like who gets that choice and who doesn't? I sure would like that choice. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> um, my stylist is Heather and, uh, whoops, this is the wrong. We don't need the note. Okay, this skirt is the pay, Sage Pleated Midi Skirt. It's a small and it's $58. And this top is really expensive. This is the Daniel Rain Leona Flutter Detail Blouse White, size small, it's $69. I really resent that Daniel Rain is so expensive because the reality is this is just a polyester top that you can get very similar from Shein. But I do love this top. I love that it's white. I have very few white tops, very few. Uh, unless it's a tank top or it's a long sleeve. I don't have anything like this, so I really, really love it. Um, I don't have it tucked in all the way. I should have a different top I'd probably wear with this. Maybe not, I don't know. I love this, I absolutely love this. Um, I don't even know if I would size up. I have to watch this back because I would have shapewear on underneath this, which I don't right now. And especially when I'm a little bit smaller than I am right now, and when I lose the last, what is it four pounds um it, it'll come from right in here on me always <laughs> maybe not now that i'm in like menopause maybe i won't i don't know we'll see so i just i really love this uh let's see what else do i have in here okay i have two more tops and bottoms and uh, so we'll try those on uh i want to show you this and i'm going to try these on real quick this is from shein you guys shein got me sent me a coupon i was like okay how cute is this? Y'all know I've been looking for a red tank. This was like $6. And the material is actually really nice. Uh, it's stretchy polyester -y material, but it's not the shiny kind. It's very nice. I, I think it's fine. It's no different. It is no different than this polyester that I have on. So, except it feels a little nicer. It has a little more texture to it. How pretty is this little blouse? So pretty. Um, the material is a faux cotton, <laughs> if you will. It's a I'm sure it's polyester. It has a texture to it. It's not shiny. The pattern on here very much looks like a print. I don't know. It's not as nice of a print as you would get, say, from Nordstrom or something, but it's certainly not something I wouldn't wear. So I'm not that bothered by it. And then here is this one. This one's stretchy. It is definitely polyester. It's a polyester material, but it's really cute. Little pocket here. I don't know, I really like it. I really like it, so I'll try these on with the next thing. Hold on one second. Okay, Robert will be on his way home in just a minute, um, or is on his way home, so I have to go in just a minute, and then I'll come back and finish trying everything on. I, this looks like a golf skirt, but it is skorts. You can see the shorts underneath. Uh, I really like this. There's no pockets though. That will bug. Oh no, there are pockets. It's, they're just sealed. Okay. There's pockets. I love this very roomy. I might should, I wouldn't get an extra small, but it is very roomy. You can see my tummy in it. Can't you? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell in the camera. This is so cute. And I love this top. This top is everything. I love this top. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is the tribal 
pull on faux wrap score with piping size for $54 and this is the one of the there's 41 Hawthorne and Monday Funday top they're both small $39 so there's another one in here it's pink so they're both I don't know which is which on there but um yeah I love this I love this top I love these skorts I would wear the heck out of these um this is definitely the kind of thing I like to wear. Y'all know I love the skorts, but this one is not a sporty one. This one is a, like a pant material. It's stretchy still. I love this. I would like this in a black also. Maybe they have it, I don't know. I love this. Okay, now this one kind of washes me out a bit, but it wouldn't make any sense not to keep it because you know it's basically free. Uh, if I keep everything, but here's the other one. It's cute. Again, it washes me out, but I think maybe if I w w would definitely wear the little half tank under here, just little white tank top, it might pull some of this pink away from me. It's kind of like my same skin tone. Okay. Um, let me try the other top on real quick. He'll be here in just a second. Okay. Come on. I don't even remember how much this was, but it couldn't have been more than six or seven bucks. I think it was. How cute is this outfit you could either tie it which you all know i do frequently there's robert or you could front tuck oh this is really cute i i really like this top and i bought a bunch of different colors of it are we tight here no we're good okay let me help robert bring the groceries in and get them put away and then we'll finish with the other shirts now my battery's almost dead so these shorts are not from Shein. these are from amazon and uh, i told you i bought some sales stuff from the spring sale and i wanted to try some new swim shorts you all know i like to swim with my little skirts um i still really enjoy swimming with my little skirts but sometimes i really do like shorts if we're gonna be snorkeling, I really prefer to have the shorts on because <laughs> sometimes the skirts kind of flit away or float away and they'll touch my leg in such a way it freaks me out. So it's better sometimes that I just have shorts on and I like the length of these. They do have the built-in pant, uh, panty and they have little pockets here on the side and these are a five inch hem. They're nice up here on the waist. They're very nice. Uh, I really, really like these and i'm glad i got them and i may get a second pair just so i have them uh as a backup and sometimes you need you know two when you're on a cruise depending upon how many ports there's sea days that sometimes it won't dry these feel pretty quick drying okay here's another one of the shirts from shein i just i mean this is just my typical shirt that i wear i i really like it it's a small you could size up if you wanted it a little more flittery you know a little more um loose this fits well it's got room but it's not too roomy i really 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 like this um a lot now i'm going to try one more on and then we i'm going to clean i'll show you this once it's all clean because <laughs> that's a mess over there that's some of Robert's clothes that he packed for Sun Princess, but he's just left there because he's probably taking most of the same stuff on Vista, so he's not unpacked it. Um, but I need to put the luggage back in the closet, only so I can turn around and take it all out again for Vista. But I want to go through that closet and all of that stuff, like I've told you. So I'll show you when it's all done. I have a box of stuff I need to go through, and just there's so much that needs to be done over there. Robert's working in the backyard, and I did link for you um, some potted... No, some hanging baskets with faux flowers in it that I picked up from Amazon during the spring sale. I wanna get those hung up. Y'all remember the ones I hung up a couple years ago in the backyard. They have, they need to be replaced. The baskets are fine. The hooks were too small, so I ordered longer hooks. Um, and, um, you know, the faux flowers need to be recycled. So that's that. Okay, let me put the other shirt on and then we'll be done. I don't know about this one. I feel like it's a little short and it shows a little more than I am comfortable with in the back. It's got that little V. So this one will probably go back. Um, it is cute, maybe with some high-waisted shorts. I do have some black high-waisted shorts um, or even some high leggings. I don't know. I do like the front of it. I just, I like, I like this. I mean, for, I think it was five or six dollars. Even if I just wear it around the house, it's, that's fine. 
So I like the material. It's just a stretchy, knitty kind of material. And who knows how it's gonna wash, but uh, yeah. And that's the thing with these shirts from Shein. They're definitely gonna have to be ironed. They, you know, they should be fine. I wouldn't put them in the dryer. I don't put anything from Shein in the dryer. It all gets hung up. So anyway, I don't know how I feel about this little thing. Y'all know I'm not super fond of my back. I don't really like showing my back a lot. Um, I'm gonna work on that though this summer when I get, hopefully we can get to a point where we can hire a personal trainer. Um, we're not sure if we're going to be there yet or not, but you know, maybe there goes Robert. Okay. I'm going to change and then I'm going to get busy cleaning this house because it is even a messier mess than it was two days ago. And, uh, then I'm going to, um, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm keeping from the stitch fix. I want to keep it all. I don't know if it's in my budget to keep it all. Do I need to keep it all? No, but I want to keep it all. So, we, oh, that, maybe I should tell you that. Yeah, the whole box is $259, $259. The, the, if you buy everything, you know, you get the 25% off. It's $64.75 off, so the total is $194.25. Um, that's kind of expensive. I mean, if you ask me for, you know, three shirts and two skirts, I, I think it's kind of expensive, but at the same time, I love each and every piece and think I would wear them for a while. Now, skorts, I'm not sure how long skorts are gonna stay in style. You know, they go, they come and they go. Um, but this, I just, I think this is beautiful. The little bow pocket, is it an actual pocket? I don't, I don't know if you unstitch it. Oh, it's one of those little half pockets, but I wouldn't unstitch it, so. I like this. It's a little big, and as I lose weight, it's gonna be even bigger, but I think if I size down, I have another pair of plaid tribal pants that are the same way. They're loose in the waist, but the rest of them fit just fine. So I think, you know, it's fine. They're fine. I really like these. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to send it back. I'm gonna get to work. I'll show you the backyard once that's done, and I will show you my cruise closet once that's done. And then I think you'll have had enough of me. <laughs> Good morning. Um, the light is weird here. I don't really know how to fix that. Okay, well, I don't even recall what I said the last time we spoke. Do I have glasses on my head? No, but I need some. Um, oh, thank you. I'm getting a ball. Thank you. I think we did like all clothing in this vlog, <laughs> but we had a very busy weekend. It was Easter weekend. And um, as I've told you, both of my older two boys, their wives have illness in their family. And so that's where they were for the holidays. And uh, it was Easter weekend, so happy Easter belated, because you're seeing this far after Easter. Um, so we actually just relaxed this weekend. We didn't cook, we didn't do anything. Um, no, we did not relax, we cleaned. We cleaned a lot. Um, okay, we cleaned out. We didn't necessarily clean. Um, but uh, I skimmed through my closet one more time. I do have a box next to me here for thread up. I went through my cruise closet. We cleaned and organized that. We emptied out all the suitcases. We got rid of all the stuff we don't use. Um, we have a big pile of donation in the garage. Um, let's see what else did I cleaned out my baking cabinet. Um, I tidied up the front room where the cats, the cat's room. I have to do that every day. I go in there, I vacuum every day. I scoop the litter boxes, you know, that kind of thing is every day. And we rebuilt the kitten's kennel bigger, gave him more room, um, thoroughly vacuumed because that little boy is messy. I have, um, Robert's gonna bring home a little hand broom and dustpan so I can get in there and sweep easier because the one I have is really big and uh, we need a smaller one. So we're just gonna get that and I now have his litter box on a litter tray and I mean a litter, anyway, it's easier. Boo Bear, this little boy, can you see his little snoot? Um, Anyway, so I'm gonna show all that to you. I decided on Stitch Fix, I am just keeping the little sleeveless pink floral blouse and the skorts. I sent everything else back. It is currently in the Stitch Fix bag in the mailbox, waiting to go back. Um, and then uh, 
Let's see what else is there. I have stuff coming in from Shein, uh, but it's like a makeup bag and um, the little travel squirty containers I use. Uh, I found them a little less expensive on, on Shein than Amazon, and I could just get the two I needed. I didn't need a 10 pack because uh, they're reusable. So, I mean, I just needed two. So, and I wanted the teeny tiny ones and they had them, whereas Amazon had a 20 pack of them. Bravo was telling me about a coupon <laughs> for a frozen pizza. So, um, my eyes are super dry today. I, they're watering, they're so dry. And I have like a blood blister in there from trying to get my contacts out with these claws of fingernails, these pointy Wolverine fingernails. Um, I do not like them. I will never, I will never get my nails done like this again. I do not care for this at all. I keep stabbing myself in the eye. I keep poking. I don't care for it. And they're sharp. So like, I, I just don't like them. They just won't happen again. We'll just leave it at that. I wanted to show you um, my rocks box. Then I'm going to show you the closet. Then we'll end this vlog. Um, so I sent back my last rocks box very quickly. The matching, I think it's matching. I could, could be wrong. Earrings or necklace to the earrings. So I just think this is so pretty. It kind of looks like a ship's wheel. So that was one of the reasons I really liked it. And I like the blue. And then these, did I show you these? I can't remember if I showed you these. I did pick these up when at the 30% off sale. These are my kind of little earrings. These are colorful and really cute. Those are from Rock's Box. Um, and then this little bracelet. This is the Demi Fine from Rock's Box. I really like their Demi Fine. I find them to be quite durable. This one's no exception. It's very pretty and it will go beautifully with my, excuse my kitty scratches, beautifully with my stack over here. Um, this one is a Demi Fine from Rocks Box. This one is from Amazon, I can link for you. And this one is from Nordstrom Rack. It is 14 karat gold and it was a super, super good price. And so I picked it up. I mean like in comparison to my little imitation gold that I get off of Amazon. And this piece I'm not gonna buy. I don't know if this is from Sophie Harper or what, but it is really pretty, but it's just not something I think I would wear too frequently to warrant buying it. Um, but it is really pretty, and it's not one that I can wear and never take off, I don't think. Uh, I have one that's similar from Amanda Fry that you can just wear constantly. So I don't need this one. Uh, Miranda, Miranda, Amanda, I can't remember which one it is. I am going to check out on uh, Rocks Box and send this back and put my Rocks Box on hold. Uh, I don't need any more jewelry and uh, it's time to put it on hold. I hate, I, like I don't wanna lose my status with Rocks Box, like my rose gold or whatever it is, um, but I really don't need any more jewelry. I mean, that's just the the thing about it. Oh, and the other thing, I told you, temporarily they're sending like four pieces. I don't know why. These little Kate Spade, these little Kate Spade earrings. Pretty little flowers. I absolutely love these. I'm gonna look on the Kate Spade website, see if I can get them cheaper, maybe with a coupon code, code or something. But um, I love them and they're very comfortable. Normally stud earrings irritate my ears. These have not bothered me one little bit. I am dragging today, I have a headache, my skin is super dry and itchy, I think it's allergies, it's driving me nuts. Um, I was, I'm trying out different eyeshadow palettes for the cruise because I just wanna, you know, see what I wanna bring. Uh, I have my favorites, definitely have my favorites. I told you about them, the Mario, Makeup by Mario palette is a favorite. Um, any Patrick Ta palette is a favorite, any. Patrick Ta palette. Those eyeshadows, I think as far as quality, I think they're the absolute best eyeshadows you can possibly buy. The Patrick Ta, seriously. Uh, they're creamy, they stay, they don't fade, and I feel like they're waterproof. I don't, it doesn't say that, but I feel like they are, which is great for me. And I really want to bring my Patrick Ta palettes, but you guys, those palettes are huge. And that's what I don't like. I wish he had like a half palette without the cream shadows, with a couple of the topper 
maybe just one topper shade and then the pinks and cool tone like the light the, the cool tone pinks and browns and a couple of warm tone browns it's really wish what i wish it was just a small little palette i yeah but i don't know how to deep pan the pa the shadows because i would i would make my own small little palette if i could deep pan <laughs> deep pot deep pot no pop the little pans out i don't know how you do that without breaking them because there's no little pinhole on the back but i know maybe there is i don't know but as far as shadows go, Patrick Ta is my number one favorite, but the palette from Makeup by Mario is a better size, easier to travel with. Of course, you guys know I have my Chanel favorites and then my Tom Ford favorites, but I will tell you they do not last on the eyes like the Patrick Ta or even the Makeup by Mario. This is a combination of two Wayne Goss palettes. Again, love. Wayne Goss palettes. They don't crease on me. They don't, they just really, but, um, and the little palette, there's one, I, I can't remember which one it's smoky something, smoky quartz, smoky tourmaline something. I don't know. That one is my absolute favorite. And of all of them, that's the one I use the most. And this one is the wedding one. I don't remember what he calls it. It's a combination of that. And then the smoky, smoky palette. Um, but I'm not bringing the pink one. I just wanted to try it one more time today. It makes me look like I have a cold. I can't wear the cool, to the, I guess it's warm tone. I can't wear the warm tone pinks on my eyes. It has to be a cool tone and it really has to be deep. And um, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk I can wear on my eyes, uh, but I have to pull another shade from another palette to kind of deepen it up a little bit. Otherwise I look ill. And that's kind of how I feel like I am here, but I am ill. I don't feel good today. <laughs> Okay, this is 15 minutes and I'm trying not to make this vlog a thousand hours long. So let's go, I'll show you the cruise closet real quick and some other couple things that I've done. My desk is an absolute mess, absolute mess. And uh, I'm working on that today in comments. I have comments I need to get, let me get my coffee out of here. I have comments I need to get to today. Okay, that is my next box for Thread Up. It is full, it's almost completely ready to go, and uh, that'll go. And that is a uh, air fryer. They sent me two by mistake, and they just told me to keep the second one, and I'm actually going to give it to my son. I don't need two in the house, <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to my son. He's actually looking forward to it. That's the kitty's little kennel. He's been going in and out of it. We put it in front of his big kennel here, in front of the door, to get him used to it. He did great. He's been in and out of it. He actually enjoys it. I'm gonna show you. I know his litter box is right there, but you'll be okay. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing? You're so handsome. You're so handsome. I love you. Yes, yes. I can't wait till we can get you to the vet and get you groomed. Yes. Yes, you're so cute. Anyway, um, but you can see we just made it one taller and two, no, one deeper. So it's bigger and significantly bigger for him. And uh, I think he, he appreciates it. It's fine. He had his breakfast this morning. That's why that's there. But uh, yeah, he's doing really well. Um, Buddy is coming in here and laying on the couch. He's, you know, first he was very angry at Buddy, but he has settled significantly. And, you know, they've gone nose to nose a few times. And the next big hurdle we have is getting him to come out of this kennel on his own. When the door is open, he doesn't come out. He, he has no interest in exploring the room or coming out. So we have to kind of encourage that so he can get used to everybody in the house and really be socialized. So, um, yeah, I don't know what his future is at the moment. You know, is he staying with us or is he going? We don't know yet. And that's his food and those are all his toys and all of his extra. Those are what we call warm spots. Amazon had a sale and that's a little warm house. Look at him. He's just going to take a little nap there. So that is huge progress. I mean, it used to be when I would stand here and talk to him or even crouch down and talk to him, he would just cower and was so afraid. This is from Thread Up. It's drying. I washed it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, it's cute. You know, it was very inexpensive. I wanted a long cardigan, but I don't, I don't know if that's the one I wanted. 
Um, here are the two things I'm keeping from Stitch Fix. And this is, I picked this up on one of the ships last year. I want to say it was Vista. No, Horizon, probably Horizon. And um, it's just too big for me, but I have friends who would probably want this, so I'm going to ask them, so it's out for them. And then here, oh, I can't open it because of that, but here is the cruise closet. Now to you, it may, oh, there's more fur. It may not look that great, but I promise you it is. These are family keepsakes up here, yearbooks. Um, stuff from my grandparents, from my father, from uh, all just, that's what all that is. It can't go in the garage. I have no idea what to do with it. So that's where it is. It pictures, tons of pictures are up there also. Okay, this is um, our Spirit airline luggage, uh, personal item size bags up on the top shelf. That is the travel hangers and things like that are in there. There's all our hats, our different backpacks, my travel purses, uh, things like that. It's all hanging right there. Um, I know it looks sloppy, but it's really not. I do want to get an over the rack, over the closet door uh, hat rack and maybe shoe rack for our um, water shoes and stuff like that. So I may get something like that. In there is everything we bring on every single cruise. That's our snorkel equipment. My Robert Stanley is in there because it was packed for Europe, but we've just put it in there because we're about to go on Vista. So my Stanley's in there too. Um, and this is our larger luggage and our carry-on luggage right there that fell because it doesn't fit properly in there. That is all my cables, wires, tech gear, cameras, all sorts of stuff is in there. Um, I went through it, but I need to go through it again. This is the basket on top holds our extra water shoes, extra things, the hair dryer I bought for travel, um, the fans I bring when we travel. Another fan is in here for this next cruise. And in this ba basket down here on the bottom are my packing cubes that I don't use but they were expensive, so they're not going anywhere. So there it is, it's all cleaned out. Here are my coats and jackets right here. Uh, raincoats, actual coats, lightweight jackets, um, and uh, things like that. These are my little pullovers that I sleep in on cruise lines, each specific to a cruise line. Some are Carnival, some are Royal. Um, yeah, Carnival and Royal, because I don't have any other brands. So these are my little carnival t-shirts um, specific to um, Mardi Gras. They're sparkly and also my Groove for St. Jude shirts. And um, this is a carnival jacket, Mardi Gras jacket. These are things I sleep in on the cruise ships, that kind of thing. These are my jackets I wear into port and these are my rash guards. So yeah, and the towels we use are hanging here also. Um, so you can see, I mean, we went through everything. These are things we use on each and every cruise, depending upon the line, depending upon the weather, depending upon the time of year. Oh, this is a little silk robe that I picked up. Uh, it's too thin, but um, it's in here in case I want it after a shower or something. So it's lightweight, it's easy to wear. But again, it's super thin, so it doesn't keep me warm, and I'm usually freezing cold when I get out of the shower. So there's that. There's that dog. Uh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, Boo Bear. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yes. Um, I've started packing for the cruise. You can see all this stuff on the counter. I do need to clean my bathroom, so we will do that. And then here is the refreshed closet. Y'all, it's not perfect. It never will be perfect in here. I, it's too small. I have too much crap. That's just how it is. There's all my Lego up there. There's my actual continued purse. Those are Dyson boxes that got shoved up there. I need to fix them. And I think my DJI is up there. I don't know. These are the purses I kept. I need to tidy it up up there, obviously. Um... 
I just shoved it up there. Honestly, I forgot to tidy it up. But if I tidy it up, I could really squeeze everything down a little bit. But um, I think I want to get some racks and kind of hang the purses up there. I don't know. Excessive quantities of Lego. That is our son's Lego. He needs to come get it. Um, yeah, and there's Little Bit and Jojo and Addie and Millie. and um, So... I have to keep them in here. It's very upsetting for the boys a lot of times. They don't like to see that. So they're in here. And um, yeah, so there's all my Lego. Uh, Y'all, I have years worth of Lego building ahead of me. I, I don't have a place to put it right now. So I, I like when it's finished, I don't have a place to put it. So this is where it stays. Um, so back here... Those are my long dresses, my pants and my long skirts, my short dresses. Yes, that one's hanging in the front so I don't forget to pack it for Vista. Um, these are my long sleeve shirts, my sweaters, my long sleeve shirts that go under sweaters or lightweight um, that I wear. And here is an enormous collection of hoodies and pullovers. It's excessive, I'm aware. These are all my Christmas sweaters and shirts back there. Um, I'm aware it's excessive, but you guys, I wear all of this is because I have my just in case so shirt on right now. I wear all of these. I, I literally wear them all. These are my white t-shirts and t-shirts I wear under things. Uh, I literally wear all of these and I wasn't going to get rid of things I wear. I just wasn't. And this is what's on it already. Something on it. Um, my, th I'm sorry. This is the new one from Spanx. Y'all, I know this is expensive. It, it's ridiculous, but I love it. That is the softest. It is, I absolutely love it. It's absolutely perfect and will be worn uh, to Florida soon. Here are my robes. This is my long sweater that I wear when it's cold out in the cold in the house. My robes. This one is from the Fairmont. This one is, I don't know, somewhere. And this mess. You can see I still have a lot of work to do in this closet, but I, I'm waiting I'm not doing it right now. There's extra jewelry up there. There's more jewelry, things that need to be bathing suits, running gear, stuff I travel with. I, I mean, it's just excessive. It's just, I still have more to clean out and go through. And this is Robert's, but that's his, his prerogative. That's the wrapping paper. The lid fell off. That doesn't fit. It doesn't matter. It's not organized right now. It's a mess. But look, I, I mean, this is what I'm telling you. I do not need any more jewelry. I can't wear all of this. What am I going to do with all this? I can't wear it all. Why? I just, yeah, no more. That is all my nail polish because it doesn't fit in the closet. And once I go through my closet, that will go into the closet. My uh, green revolution, whatever that stuff is that I like. That's that, what that, that is. And that is a precious dog. Are you precious? Are you precious? Yeah? And there's that other dog. There's that other precious dog. There he is. Yes. I see you, baby. I see you. Goodness. Goodness. Blackie's over there having a bath. Yasmin's over there curled up. And here's the front room. Still a mess, but it's vacuumed. <laughs> Very bright. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, the pantry's tidy, the ba the, ba the fridge is tidy. Now there's a bunch of leftovers stacked up in there, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I got done what I wanted to get done. What's next? I need to thoroughly clean the patio. I do a heavy-duty spring clean. I'm sure I've showed you that in the past. We get the pressure washer out. Everything gets scrubbed. It's covered in pollen right now. Um, and then I'm going to hang up the new hanging baskets in the backyard. And I will show you that when I get to it. I just didn't get to it this weekend. We were busy doing other things. And, um, yeah. So I'm about to go answer comments. Oh, I made pizza yesterday. I'm not going to leave you the recipe. Here's a picture kind of as I went along with it. It was fine. I was trying to make a crispy crust. And it was a lot of ingredients. Really expensive. And the crust wasn't crispy. So I tried, but um, yeah, I think the only way I'm gonna get a crispy crust is if I do some version of a fat dough. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's it. But uh, I'm gonna go answer comments. I've got to edit the Virgin Vlogs because it's still not done. And um, 
yeah, I have to work this week, so I'll see what I can get done on Virgin. I, I, I don't have any idea. Um, basically, I'm just not into it. I'm tired right now and not feeling great, so it makes me not really want to edit, even though I need to. Anyway. All right. <laughs> on that negative note, I am going to leave you. And I will see you soon. Um, I The next vlog, I have no idea what to tell you to expect from the home vlog. It'll just probably be another Nordstrom rack. Another, you know, life as it happens kind of vlog. So there you go. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with us, with me. I know this was a long vlog. And uh, I appreciate you. And I will leave everything linked for you down in the description box as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. I hope your spring has sprung and it's beautiful where you are. Uh, I miss the winter. I want winter back. Now we get to look forward to next year, next winter. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.